something. No, I thought it was mapping the chair, but I th this thing's moving, I think, isn't it? Taken. Oh my god. Unexplained cases back in the saddle again in the Old West with our good friends, the Phoenix, Arizona Paranormal Society at the Pioneer Living Museum. When you walk these dusty roads, you're transported back to Arizona in the 19th century. We spent our night exploring these haunted original and reconstructed homes of people who settled out west. Our first stop, the Merritt House. Once home to John and Emma Merritt and their two sons. Early on, we got a hit on my SLS camera. This device uses an infrared light projector with a monochrome sensor showing objects as dots arranged in 3D formation. While there is some debate on the legitimacy of the tool, we've had some fascinating experiences with it. No, I thought it was mapping the chair, but I th this thing's moving, I think, isn't it? He's like moving, right? Kicking something. I was trying to see if I could get to, to um... You're about to play like with... Like squatting and... Like sitting in the chair, maybe, yeah. or...? Someone sitting in that chair over there? This always freaks me out because it's backwards. The way that... Yeah, that's so weird. Why can't I... There we go. There we go. Oh, it might be the table. Isn't that the table? Okay. Ah. Huh. Darn it. Across the hall, Paps pulled out their spirit box to pick up voices from the dead. A spirit box is a radio that sweeps through all FM or AM radio frequencies. Investigators ask questions, and spirits reply with intelligent responses using the white noise. What's your name? Intriguing evidence for sure. Out on the deck, several EVPs were captured on video of the dead reaching out to the living. And EVP stands for Electronic Voice Phenomena. They are electronic sounds captured on cameras or digital recorders. Take a listen. I got my camera. Can you come and walk in front of the camera, please? You'll be famous. You'll be a star. Go over by Angela. Let's see what Angela's doing. Can I talk to the maid? I really need one. Oh, I feel like going through that door. A star. <laughs> Go over by Angela. Let's see what Angela's doing. Can I talk to the maid? I feel like going through that door and scary. <laughs> can you come run on the porch so we can hear your footsteps? Make a loud noise for us. 
We're your friends. We come here all the time. So we can hear your footsteps. Make a loud noise for us. We're your friends. We come here all the time. I'm spend the night. And then COVID hit. <laughs> but then yeah. I thought I don't know if I want to sleep out here at all. There's too many wild animals and critters and stuff. Yeah. The camera's getting kind of blurry right now. Nate, are you here? Come on out. Come to see you. Talk. About here at all. There's too many wild animals and critters and stuff. Yeah. The camera's getting kind of blurry right now. Nate, are you here? Come on out. Jamie and the obulus is answering me, but I don't know what it's saying. Oh, really? Karen? I'm standing here, Jamie, and the obulus is answering me, but I don't know what it's saying. Oh, really? After a stop at the Merritt House, it was on to the Victorian House, the former home of the Sears family. And once again, the Unexplained Cases team captured images on the SLS camera. Trying to get it. Who's here with us? Oh. Like a very tall man. Did you get that? Or? Yeah, I did. Where'd you go? We lost you. Did you come back? Oh, there you are. Where's that the table? Oh, that's my one. Are you back again? Yep, there he goes. It's gone. Still rolling on all this? or? Yeah, I got okay. it all. all right. can, can you tell me... I don't have a thing. Can you tell me what your name is? Oh, there it is. is that the oh, that's a chair. Must be sitting in Must be sitting in the chair. Are you sitting in the chair? If you are, can you rock back and forth? Because that is a rocking chair. And if you are sitting in the chair, can you stand up? Uh, I had a little bit earlier. I think I was just, this is just the chair. I was, if it, if it's got up and walked away, that would be awesome. That'd be really cool. Yeah. We've gotten several pictures, infrared pictures of a little boy. Always right around here. Well, we had something before that, actually, uh, not the, the chair. Yeah, it was short like a Yeah, it was a short boy. like a kid. Oh. Right there, there's a kid. Look, right there. I think that is. I don't think that's mapping. It's, it's in between the chair and the sofa. Does that look like a kid? The way it's acting, it's hard to say. Yeah, it's there's like, a chair. Is it that thing that it's mapping? Oh, no, it's, it's on the couch. I don't, I don't know, it's kind of bouncing all over the place here. I don't know, I've never seen it. Can you dance around? If there's somebody there, can you dance around or raise your, your uh, hands in the air for us? Was it John, his wife Mary, or one of their children? Maybe it was. We took our evidence and ghost hunting gear next to the northern home. This old log cabin belonged to Jeff Newman, who lived in it with his wife, three sons, and five daughters. Anybody from the Newman family here? Anyone else here? Pine. Pine? <laughs> you got the pines? C. You see that when you're getting something? Who's the president? Eight. 
Sound like Abe. <laughs> How many children do you have? How many children live here? That's what I heard for. After our visit to the Newman House, we hoofed it down to the road and popped into the old jail. We used the spirit box to do a little ghost gambling. How much money's on the table? That's a lot of money. Is that a five dollar bill? Pian, what's Pian? Hundred. Hundred. Yeah, hundred. Good job. Yeah. You want to win it? Guess the number. How many's on the dice? Three. Three? Three. Yeah, and what's the other one? Three and what? No, no, no. Four. Oh, total, total. Total oh, four. was four, four. yeah. Hey, you're so smart. Good job. Wow. So you can see that then? One more time, then we're going to go. How many on there? Oh. Six. 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 Yeah. Wow. Good job. Six. I'm impressed. See? I put some stuff on your beds, on your cots. Can you go touch them? Mm. I left them for you. Tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Jail isn't a place you want to end up. Obviously, school is a better choice. Our pioneer tour took us to class at the Gordon School. Perhaps use the spirit box for a little Q&A with the teacher and students. What's your favorite subject? In school, what's your favorite subject? Is it now? We wrapped up the evening with a trip to church. The church is a copy of St. Paul's Methodist Episcopal Church, which stood in Globe, Arizona from 1880 through 1927. Gracie connected with the spirits through a sensory deprivation experiment. She used noise-canceling headphones and a blindfold to completely remove distractions. Paps asked questions, and we got these responses. Any spirits here with us tonight? I think so. Tammy? Tammy. Tammy is Brittany here tonight. How many spirits are in here? Hansel. Do you have a message for us? Woman. Question. Woman again. I hope. What do you hope, Tammy? Is there anything we can do for you? Heavy. Are there any girls in here with you? Any other girls? Sing. Did you say Satan? That's what it sounded like. Here to Son. Be I'm sorry. Are 
you sad? Still here? <laughs> Soothing voice. Oh, Are there any children in here? Teenage. That's what I thought. Is Brittany Love. here? Can we go get Brittany? Money. Did you take forty dollars? The name. What is your name? Coyotes. That one was really clear. Coyotes. Coyotes took. Did coyotes kill you? Oh my god. What's happening? Do you need help? Season. Saint. Anything else you want to tell us? Do you want to tell us your story? Thank you. No. No. Up. really clear. One of you is above us. Thank you for talking to us. 
No. <laughs> Correct. Where? Actually. Can you say goodbye? Him? Which one? Nature? Nature. There was no really direct responses tonight. Just kind of random. Again? Adios. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you. A farewell from the ghosts of the Pioneer Living Museum. A fitting way to end a fantastic night of investigating the Old West spirits that roam this gem north of Phoenix. Reporting for Unexplained Cases, I'm Dylan Dino.